This is Casey Campbell with G1NBC Sports Livingston County, and now we're continuing our spring previews with uh, our Fallerville track coach, Aaron Rickens. Uh, coach, uh, how, how do you like, like this, uh, this team you got right now? I think this is probably one of the most talented teams we've had in a long time out here. Uh, we have currently uh, 70 boys and 35 girls. Uh, it's by far the biggest team we've had in quite a while. Uh, so we're really, really happy. A lot of great talent, uh, a lot of great talent from our youngsters. Obviously, we have a lot of our seniors back uh, that are bringing a lot of great things to the program. Uh, we're very excited for the year. Uh, what do you think about just um, overall expectations for you guys this this year, boys and girls, who's coming back, who's re who's returning, and who do you think could be possibly a star this year? On uh, well, we have uh, on the boys' side, we have Corey Lemieux returning. He's our uh, conference champion in the 100-meter uh, he was also all league in the 200 and the long jump. Uh, we have Chris Davis. Uh, he was a state qualifier in cross country two years in a row. Uh, right now he's got his mile time way down and his 800 times around a 203. So we're really happy with that. Uh, our four by 800 meter team, uh, Chris Davis again, Cody Persons, uh, Blake Howard, and uh, Caden Collins. They're looking to make it back to the state finals. Uh, for our 4x8 team for the first time since 2005. Uh, so we're really excited about them. Uh, on the thrower side, we have Mitchell Bishop. He's a 41 plus foot thrower in shot put. Alex Bowers is a 40 foot thrower in the shot put. We're very excited for them. Uh, Dalton Sweet is our pole vaulter. He's a, about a 13 uh, foot pole vaulter looking to qualify for the state finals for the first time this year as well. Uh, we have Caleb Maletsky. He's a 21 and a half foot uh, long jumper. Uh, he's going to look to qualify. So all in all, we're looking to qualify uh, probably we're looking for at least five to six individuals and two relay teams on the boys' side. On the girls' side, we have Kyla Chapel returning. She was a state qualifier last year in the 400 meter uh, as a freshman. She was also a conference champion in the 400 as a freshman. We also have Megan Douglas, a uh, thrower. She had the furthest throw in Livingston County last year as a freshman at 32 and a half feet. Uh, so she's already thrown 32 feet this year, so she's looking to qualify. Uh, we also have uh, a relay team we're gonna try to get together. Uh, and we never know, uh, we have a lot of freshman girls out this year and we're not quite sure where they're at right now, but we know that we're gonna get a couple out of, uh, out of that class because they're a very talented class. Uh, so all in all for the girls, we're looking to qualify uh, two or three individuals in a relay team. Uh, toughest competition this year? Uh, well, Williamston is uh, Williamston's always tough in track and field. Uh, they have a long history of success in track and field, so we are definitely looking at them. Uh, they won the conference last year. We came in second, uh, so we're looking up at them right now. Lansing Catholic uh, always has a strong distance core and a strong sprint core, so we're going to be uh, going against them. We lost to them in dual meet last year, but we beat them in the conference meet. So the, I know my guys are uh, really excited to uh, get at them this year and Williamston both. And that's for both the boys and the girls. All right, Coach, good luck this season. Thank you very much. Thank you.